Hello everyone. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to create an Azure API management instance via the portal. Before we do that, let's just take a quick look at some information that we'll be looking at throughout this series. First, let's go ahead and just go to docs.microsoft.com, go to documentation, Azure, and then on the left we'll find web, excuse me, web, and then API management. This is where most of the documentation that we're going to be referencing throughout the series is going to be located. Along with this, as we create a new instance, it's important to know what we're going to be paying for. So under resources, there's a link for pricing. The pricing section is going to outline what these features are based on the SKU that we're going to choose. Um, in this particular instance, we're going to be using the developer SKU for most of our actions because it does contain nearly all the same features as Premium, even though it doesn't have SLA and, and uh, some of those things as it is intended for a development environment. Um, you, you'll notice here, like for example, consumption does not have the ability to work on a virtual network. Um, same thing with basic and standard. So some, just some other things to keep in mind um, when you're setting those up. Uh, in establishing it. So let's go ahead and move over to the portal. And from the portal, if you you obviously may not see it at the very beginning if you haven't used it before. These are your ref, recently used services. You can always go to more services and then click there on the left web and you'll see the option here for API management services. Now we're going to create a new API management instance and when you go through this process there's just a few things that you'll need. The first thing you'll need is a resource group, and I'm going to select an existing one that I have, as well as the region that you intend to put the API gateway in, and I'm going to use uh, South Central US in this case. And the name has to be unique across all of Azure, right? Um, and I'm going to give uh, this demo for now. And it's important to specify what you're going to choose. Now I'm going to choose API as a name, so you'll see this come through on our emails uh, that we'll send out. And the same thing for status. So I'll put my actual email here to get my status responses. Now generally there's really nothing else we're required to specify at this point, but we're going to go through the rest of the tabs so you'll know what they are. If I wanted to go ahead and connect this up to a, uh, an API, uh, excuse me, an App Insights instance, you could select this and select an existing instance. I'll do that in a later video. It's very handy. Scale, if you were using premium or something to that effect, you'll have the option to scale these out. Developer and consumption don't have these options. Managed identity, this allows for the API gateway or API management to communicate with other services such as Key Vault and things of that nature. This is handy to turn on um, if you intend to do some of those communications. Um, I'll, I'll possibly do this in another upcoming video. Virtual networks, depending on where you place the API gateway, whether it's fully public, which is what we're going to be using, we're going to choose none. If we wanted it to be a reverse proxy in, in between a public and a private network, you'd choose external there and specify your virtual networks. And, or lastly, it could be just purely internal where it's not publicly exposed with the exception of the administrative interface. Uh, and then it just lives on a virtual network. All right, so we're going to choose the, no, the none to keep it public for now. By default, we come as, it's going to come out as secure as possible, um, but there are occasions where you may have a legacy technology you want to implement. If that's the case, you'll come and you want to enable these features. This can also be done after it's created as well for most of these. Tags, uh, this is just standard tagging. I'm just going to give you an example there. You may want to place uh, you know, where it is or, or what some kind of your billing reference, your department, the billing department or cost center. Uh, those kind of things, obviously, just standard tagging. Um, and just again, rem remember, before you get to here, uh, just keep in mind that your instance name needs to be unique across all of Azure. You can create DNS aliases for whatever you want to reference this as in the future, but from uh, the initial creation standpoint, it does need to be unique. So I'm going to go ahead and create the instance here. Now, it will take some time to, go to get this created, so uh, while that is being created, uh, we'll come back at another time and revisit the rest of the video as going through uh, a, a brief tour of uh, Azure API management in the portal. If you have any questions, feel free to leave the comments and I will get back to you as soon as I can.